Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I've posted my last video, but today something has arrived. Uh, a few months ago, I bought a Takari enclosure for the Mark III, which is the one here. This is a TS model, which doesn't have a base, so it sits on a worktop. So all uh, plexiglass or perspex. I've been sent one for the Mini. This is a TLX, so that will have a base and a back, uh, and the remaining sides will be plexi. So that's literally arrived this morning. It'll be nice to be able to have an enclosure for the Mini, uh, for temperatures, keeping dust off, noise, etc. So I'm going to clear everything away and I'll then start an unboxing for you. Hi, right, we have the Tukari box. I've taken the plastic delivery wrapping off of it and we're going to unbox it and see what we have in here. It's a nice thick box. Wow, as you can see, extremely well padded. I've got to drop down here, a bit of packing. Right, nice big piece of polystyrene. Ah, the instructions. Always handy. Uh, these are actually really nice quality. The um, It's almost like card. It's high gloss, he very heavy weight. So they've obviously uh, thought about this. Excellent drawings. And it looks like we don't actually need any printed parts uh, for any of the joins or corners. On the TS enclosure I have the Mark III, that requires uh, printed parts at all the junctures. But um, it looks like it's nuts and bolts, so that will be pretty interesting to try. Uh, yeah, good, uh, good instructions, nice quality. That, that's, that's a good sign. Let's pop that to one side. Oh, I think there might be something in here. Let's have a look. Uh, this looks like it is the spool holder for at least, yeah, certainly the spool holder, perhaps something else as well. The base of the spool holder for bearings. So that's very good to have that included. Let's put that to one side. That one's empty. Again, a good piece of packing. Right. Let's see here. Let me just uh, grab a knife. Always handy to have a knife. even stuck. That's really good. Look at that. It's even taped to the polystyrene so it's not going to slide around. That appears to be the door, the front door, because there's a, a cutout here as well. So that's the plexiglass. Put that to one side. Here we have uh, another selection of sides. Oh, quite heavy actually as well. I think this is quite thick. I'm not sure that's a four or five millimeter. I'll check. That's that's pretty robust. And there's the slit there for the filament feed on the mini. Right now, this will be the interesting part. This is either the base or the back. I think this might be the base. A nice orange colour. This is one of their new colours. Uh, I was well. I could have gone for white, but I uh, decided to have something a bit more colourful. And it's actually really nice quality. Very very nice uh, the way it's been done. Yeah, with these sockets here. Actually very high quality. So this must be the back. Let's 
space for a filter, potentially a fan, I guess, as well. So a filter can go in there. So that's again nicely cut out. What else? I think we're getting to the the bottom here. Ah, there's the filter itself. So that'll be a HEPA filter, paper filter. Uh, oh, and another filter here with what looks like a housing to go around the hole. And here we have the grid to perhaps go on the outside of the fan vent. And a couple of there's a couple of metal circular items which I think are access holes for cables. Right, uh, so that's it for the main parts. Uh, oh, this this has got something in. Let's have a look. Ah, here we go. Uh, lots of nuts and bolts, and uh, a very tiny little screwdriver there perhaps for some of the really tiny ones. So I think we're going to be using those a lot. Dowels. I guess that's for putting the two orange parts together. Bearings. So that will be the pack for the filament holder. Some more nuts and bolts. Wow. Uh, looks like some blocks which probably help to put these two together, but I'm not sure. I'll find out. Um, some plastic mounts of some sort, corner ones. And finally, what looks like perhaps legs and hinges uh, in here. So that's quite nice to actually have some uh, legs. That would be really good. Didn't expect that at all. And uh, let's check that last one. No, that's just packing. Okay, so that's that's the unboxing. Initial uh, impression, extremely good. Uh, I'm overly impressed with the the finish. It's not like your kitchen cupboard uh, finishes. Uh, these are really high quality, really nice. And I do like the two tone as well with the orange and the dark colour. Uh, yeah okay uh, so the next stage will be actually looking at the instructions and doing some step-by-step -step assembly